Well, here we are once again in Lake Bonavista. Some of you may have seen the pre-board tour that we filmed here in this great laneway slash carriage home, but uh, we wanted to show you the completion tour. This is really exciting. Everybody's kind of waited with bated breath, as they say, <laughs> for the final look. But uh, here we have the double garage. Some of you that may have seen, as I mentioned, the pre-board pre tour, uh, we talked about that, but this is a double, double car garage a laneway above, carry suite above. Notice these are eight foot high doors. So the reason for that is if the client or you wanted to create an Airbnb or VRBO, this is the right size overhead door for a Thule on top of a, a minivan or top of an SUV. So we thought of some of those things. This is fully tricked out in uh, solar as well. So we'll kind of walk into the garage. And you'll kind of see some of those elements as well. So follow us over to the garage. All right, here we are in the garage portion. So a lot of wonderful folks are coming in to see the tour here today, but just wanted to kind of explain a couple of things. I mentioned the eight foot overhead garage doors, but you can see this is completely painted out. We've got the Calcana heater here for heat. That's a gas powered heater. The chase that you see in the corner here is the water and sewer chase. So that's where all the water and sewer comes through underground and up. Everything is painted out, everything is clean. It's a great hobby space. It's a great garage, period. But I wanna show you the panel here for a second. So this panel, if you looked at the pre-board tour, you'll notice it had a conduit coming through. So this is now all wired and hardwired and roughed in for solar. So everything is, is set up for solar here. We actually have our solar representative on hand here today as well, but that's the panel. The gas is dressed outside. Some of the, 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 the uh, items for future installation, you see some of the roughed in wire, but it's all nice and tidy here, cleaned up and, and ready to go. So the Calcana heater, this is awesome. This radiant heater puts out a tremendous amount of heat and it feels comfortable because it bounces off the floor as well, so heats the floor at the same time. The ceiling is all insulated with R28 spray foam in two pound, so very comfortable. The upper suite is gonna be fantastic, but why don't we head upstairs? Okay, so here we are up at the balcony. I wanna kind of explain this balcony for a second. The reason this balcony exists is the power line, ATCO actually required, or NMAX, sorry, required us to set back the face of this laneway from the garage face to clear the overhead line. What that did is provided us a balcony. So kind of a serendipitous element here, but what I wanted to show you on both ends is a frosted panel, and that is bylaw. So the code requires us to have frosted panels so we give privacy to the neighbors. You'll see inside the frosted glass as well. So just wanted to give you a little bit of a feel for this, but let's walk into the laneway suite. Okay, well, here we are inside the, the laneway, so excited. Some call it a carriage house, a laneway, accessory building, they're all kind of, the connotations are the same. But as we walk in, you'll notice LVP flooring, nine foot high ceilings. I, I wanna mention the glass panel that you see here. So the glass frosted glass panel is for the bylaw, as I mentioned, for privacy to the neighbor. But the kitchen turned out, I think, fantastic. This is called a studio suite. So I'll take you into the bedroom area first. And just before I do, I'll show you the full-size washer dryer. So that's awesome in a suite of this caliber. And over in the bedroom area, you could have a wall here. So this is called a studio suite. So in the bedroom area, the client wanted a full-size wardrobe. So we built the wardrobe, a double hanging wardrobe here. And of course, drawers, just a lovely little, little area here. You can see the slat wall that kind of semi divides this space. Like I said, you could have a wall across. We did have it designed that way initially with the door. Client chose to have a studio suite. So that's the bedroom portion. Well, this is probably the favorite room in any house. Just a fabulous layout here with an L shape. This went through many iterations for the client to be pleased with the outcome because initially there was a window here. They chose to block the window and move the window over to this side. So what I want to show as a couple of components here, the nine foot ceiling height gives you that nine foot cabinetry height as well. But a couple of things that we did here that really played into the small space feel, we went to an underground microwave. So it's a microwave drawer. We love these things. It's great for seniors, great for kids. And it takes that microwave either off the counter or away from this area here. So this just looks so awesome with the tile full height to the ceiling. With a nine foot ceiling, it just adds some extra 
kind of pizzazz, I would say. And then all the countertops are quartz, sill granite sink, so full extensions, soft closed drawers. One of my faves is the magic corner. So this is a kidney-shaped magic corner. Let's replace the old Lazy Susans. Just an awesome way to add storage with an otherwise wasted corner. Drawer banks, as I said, are all soft closies. Again, there's some more pot and pan and dish drawers. You notice this client's using it for dishes, but I wanna show you this particular appliance, which is really cool. It's a, it's a dishwasher drawer and it's small, it's discreet, and yet it works for one or two people in this suite. So there you go. It allows the drawer below. That dishwasher drawer by Fisher Pical is one of our favorite little, little, little gizmos. That's the kitchen overall. You can see the appliance suite here by Jerome's Appliances here in Calgary is all Blomberg. We really like this product. It's cool stuff like blue lights inside. Just an awesome, uh, awesome appliance suite. Full height Faber range hood, just again allows for the tile to go full height to the ceiling. We did the same on this wall. So all in all, it just turned out wonderful. Just a, one more point I'll, I'll point out is the chairs here. This island is the table, so to speak. So there will be a sofa here. So TV space, sofa, island, and seating. Thanks so much for visiting. This was a lot of fun here today. Hopefully you learned a lot. Call us if you'd have any indication or would like to just get exploratory conversation going with Elaine Way in your property. All the best.